Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I created this Valentine's Day inspired makeup look and it's like a pretty smoky pink eye. I got a bit of pink highlight on as well and the pink lips. If you do want a wearable Valentine's Day makeup look, please let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely do one for you guys. But yeah, this is what I came up with for today's look and this is probably going to be the last video in my room because I've got like a new filming room set up and I'll be filming there from now on or at least most of my videos will be filmed there from now on. But then again, I might switch it up and come back here every now and then. But yeah, as always, all the products and brushes I use will be listed down below in the description box. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. And don't forget to press that little bell button next to the subscribe button which will just notify you for whenever i upload videos so yeah, thank you guys so much i hope you like this video and let's get started okay so in this video i'm doing the order of the way i do my makeup a bit differently so i'll be doing my face before i do my eyes just because when i do my eyeshadow i want it to be more smoky and i also just want to change it up a bit and not do the same thing in every single video so yeah, I'm just going to do like most of my face and then go back to it for like bronzer, highlight, that sort of thing at the end. But for now, I'm just going to be starting off with the Too Faced Hangover Primer and just applying it all over my face. And also don't mind a bit on my forehead, I don't know if you can see, but I got a bit burnt at the Australian Open last week on my forehead and on my hands because I was wearing a jacket. So it wasn't really meant to be sunny, so I didn't apply sunscreen, but it ended up being really sunny and really warm. So that's why I'm a bit burnt. Okay, so now for my foundation, I'm going to be mixing these two products together and they are the Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation in the shade Euphoric and the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Celestial. And you guys, I have been looking for this for literally months and months and months and months. Like crazy. Looking, going to Sephora every single week to see if they had this in stock. They never had it in stock and then I finally got it a few days before Christmas. This was the only shade left in stock. I did want the one, like shade above this one, but that was the only one in stock, so I had to settle for this one. And this foundation is also a tiny bit too dark for my skin tone, but I roll with it anyway, and it's good for summer when I tan a bit. So yeah, I'll just be mixing these two together and applying it all over my face with my black damp beauty blender. And now I'm just going in with my LA Girl HD Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Porcelain and just applying it underneath my eyes. And now it's my Kat Von D Locket Concealer in shade L1 Neutral. I'm just going to be dotting a bit of that underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, a tiny bit on my forehead, and on my chin and upper lip as well. Just because I feel like the LA Girl Concealer isn't that light for my skin tone. And now I'm just going to apply a bit of the concealer onto my eyelids. Now I'll just be applying the Asia Mano Color Powder with my Morphe M438 brush just underneath my eyes and I'll be baking it slightly on the sides of my nose and on the bridge of my nose as well, which will help with the nose contouring. And I'll also be setting my eyes with this powder as well. Now I'm just going to wipe away the bake. And now I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Okay, so now we're moving on to eyes. And the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Textured Eyeshadows Palette. And I'll be picking up this shade here called Shy and just applying it as my transition shade.
Now I'm just going to be going in with this really bright pink color called Flamingo and I'll be applying it into my crease and I'll also be bringing it outwards like this way, kind of V shape. And now I'll just be going in with the first brush I used and just blending out the edges with no additional shadow. And now I'll be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I'll be picking up this like dark pink shade here called Love Letter and I'll just be applying that into the outer corners of my crease and on the outer half of my lid. And I'll also be using my 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush by Zoeva. And this is a bit more of a pointed brush so you can get a bit more detailed with your application. Now again with the first brush I used, the Zoeva 224, I'm just going to blend out the edges of my eyes. And now I'm just going back in with that Flamingo shade again and the crease brush I used and applying it into my crease again just to bring back that pink a bit more. And now just with my finger I'm going to be going into the Huda Beauty palette again and I'll be picking up this shade down here called Angelic and it's a really nice iridescent pink gold shade so I'm just going to apply that on the inner half of my lids. And then with a clean finger just tap on the edges so it blends in a bit more easily. And just blending that shade out a little bit. And now to just clean up the edges of the eyeshadow a little bit, I'm just going to go in with my RC Mano color powder and just swipe the edges of my eyes. And now back in with the first brush I used and the first shade, Shy, I'm just going to be blending the edges of my eyeshadow just to help make it a bit more smoky and a bit more blended. So now I'm just going to continue with my face and then finish up the eyes later. So the first thing I'm going to do is be picking up my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and picking up the shade Medium Cocoa and I'll just be contouring my face and my nose. And I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. And now I'll just be bronzing up my face with my Benefit Hula Bronzer. And now I'm just going to blend that out with my powder brush. So now with my Anastasia A23 brush, I just sprayed it with a bit of my Mara Badesca Rose Water Spray. And now I'll be going in with my Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Gleam. And I'll be picking up this shade here called Starburst. And I'm just going to be applying it to my cheekbones. And I like this because it's kind of got like a pinky tone to it. And I'm just highlighting my chin, my cupid's bow and my nose as well. And a tiny bit on my forehead. And now for blush, I'll be going into the Zoeva Pink Spectrum palette. And I'm just going to be picking up this shade here. It's like a shimmery pinky shade. They're so pigmented and buttery. And they're actually amazing. And begin just blending that out. So now with my smudger brush, I'm going into the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette again and picking up the shade Flamingo and just smudging it all along my lower lash line. Now back into the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm picking up the shade Love Letter and just applying it to my outer lower lash line. And now with the Zoeva 227 brush, this is a bit more pointed but still a bit fluffy, I'm going to be picking up the shade Shy from the Huda Beauty palette and just smoking up my lower lash line. So 
So now I just sprayed a bit of my Marabu Desk Spray on my detail shader brush by Zoeva. I'll be going into the Glow Kit again and picking up this shade Starburst that I used for my highlight. And I'll just be applying it on the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow veins. And just blending that line out with my 224 Zoeva brush. And now just lining my waterline with my Creme Gel Liner by Colourpop in the shade Honey Dude. So now I'm just going to spray my entire face with the Maraba Desco Rose Water Spray. And this will just give you like a more dewy look. And now I'm just going to curl my lashes with my Lily Lashes Eyelash Curler. And now I apply my Tarte Gifted Mascara just on my top lashes only for now. And now I'm just going to conceal my false lash line with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. And now I'm just going to apply my mascara to my bottom lashes. And now for the final step which is the lips, I'll be going in with my favourite colour lip kit and it is the lip kit in the shade Posey K. And as always I'm just going to be lining my lips first and then filling them in with the liquid lipstick. Okay, so that concludes this video. I really hope you guys liked it and learned a little bit of something in it. I wanted to do something a little bit different and I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new to my channel and get excited for my new filming room and more frequent videos from next week. So yeah, thank you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!